Hey, Christ Covenant Church, it's Pastor Jason. Hope you are having a great week in the Lord. Yeah, it's hard to believe that we're at the end of May and uh, June will be starting by the end of the week, uh, but uh, hope you're doing well. A uh, few things that I want to highlight for us this week. First, thank you for checking this Connect e-newsletter and for uh, watching the video. I know that uh, sometimes it's difficult to uh, pull this up and check it out because uh, maybe it's you feel like it says the same things all the time or uh, we just get so used to it coming into our email that we just don't open it. Uh, but uh I know these days this is just more uh, the way we do things than than printing everything out on paper. But sometimes I just feel like, man, I just I want to get the information in people's hands. And so uh, so thank you so much uh, for being faithful to uh, check this connect email. Um, also, we are going to complete our series on. Uh, forever faithful from the book of Hosea uh, this Sunday. So this Sunday will be our final sermon in uh, Hosea chapter 14. So I encourage you to read Hosea chapter 14 and be prepared uh, to read on Sunday. I, I love Hosea chapter 14 after all we've seen, after all we've learned and heard that God still has a plan uh, for his people. And uh, that's tr that was true for Israel and it's true for us uh, today. And so we're so thankful uh, that no matter where we've been, no matter what kind of discipline of the Lord that we've experienced, uh, uh, no matter what, uh, as God's people, he has a good and a plan and a good future planned for us. And so I pray that you've learned a lot and grown a lot, uh, commune with the Lord throughout this series and continue to do so. As we move into the summer, I'm going to be doing a series on uh, the parables of the kingdom from Mas Matthew chapter 13. And so uh, we're also going to have some uh, guest pe preachers. Uh, we're going to have uh, some of our own uh, preaching from the pulpit. We're going to have uh, uh, Glenn Ballard is going to preach his first sermon at Christ Covenant Church um, on June the 9th. Uh, Mike Avery is going to preach for us coming up at the end of June. John Heim is going to preach for us later uh, in the summer as well. And so excited about uh, the, the, the series I'm going to do on the parables of the kingdom, but also excited for these men preaching as we want to hear uh, from different men of, of the Lord who are sharing God's word. So looking forward to that. Uh, one thing I really want you to take note of this week is something I'm really excited about, and that is uh, Serve NC. Serve NC is something that North Carolina Baptists do together uh, all throughout the state of North Carolina during the summertime. It's particularly the first week in August, and uh, this is something that we're going to be a part of for the very first time as Craig. Christ Covenant Church. We have a lot of Baptist churches in town who've been a part of it before, and uh, we are going to jump in and be a part of it. It's the focus of Serve NC is to go out and to serve our community right here in Rocky Mountain in tangible ways in order to share the love of Christ with them. And uh, part of the heartbeat behind it is that this is not just one church reaching out, but this is the church, churches around our community coming together with kingdom mindedness. I, I love of uh, being a part of the Pillar Network, where one of our pillars is kingdom-minded. That means that we're not just interested in building Christ Covenant Church, but we're interested, more interested in building the kingdom of God. And so we desire for all gospel preaching churches to be healthy and to be reaching out and sharing the love of Christ and seeing others come. And so uh, we are going to get our feet wet with NC Serve this year by uh, doing a joint project with Sunset Avenue Baptist Church right here on Sunset Avenue in Rocky Mount. Uh, Robin Fisher, their pastor, has become a good friend of mine as we're both a part of the same Rocky Mount pastors group that gets together to pray for one another and get to know one another. He's a mentor to me as he's an older uh, older uh, leader and so, so thankful for him. And uh, so we are going to do a joint uh, project with them. And so if you'll scroll down and connect, you'll learn more about this, but we need you to volunteer. And so we would love you to look at this. So what it is, is we're going to be offering free health screenings uh, right here on Sunset Avenue uh, for people who need a free health screening. And so we need volunteers.
volunteers who have medical background to be a part of giving these screenings, uh, but we also have opportunities for anyone else to volunteer that doesn't have a medical background uh, because uh, we need uh, prayer warriors. We need people who are willing to uh, help help register people and do registration and people to share the gospel because our plan is to offer prayer and to share the gospel with every single person that comes for a free health screening. This is going to be on Sunday, August the 4th from 1 to 7 p.m. So Sunday, August the 4th from 1 to 7 p.m. We're going to have this uh, free health screening. And so I would love for you uh, to volunteer. And the sooner you do it, the better. So we can uh, start to plan for how many volunteers we're going to have. You can volunteer for one hour or multiple hours. Uh, but what you do is uh, just uh, indicate your interest by uh, the Connect. When you go down to Connect, indicate that you're interested and we will follow up. But I would love for this to be something that we do together as a church. I'm sure that you would agree with me that as we uh, seek to faithfully preach the gospel and, and grow in Christ together, one of the areas that we really want to grow in as a church is our outreach uh, to our community. And so uh, I see this as just one of many tangible ways to be able to be a part of that. And so would love for you to sign up and show your interest and we'll get more information to you. Hope you have a great rest of the week and look forward to worshiping together on Sunday.